Hello viewers, welcome to the section Smart Pointers. In this section, we will learn about Auto Pointer, Unique Pointer, Shared Pointer, Weak Pointer, Issues with Raw Pointers. Now, we move on to the video Auto Pointer. In this video, we will demonstrate the internal behavior of the Auto Pointer. The Auto Pointer Smart Pointer takes a raw pointer, wraps it, and ensures the memory pointed by the raw pointer is released back whenever the auto pointer object goes out of scope. At any time, only one auto pointer smart pointer can point to an object. Hence, whenever one auto pointer is assigned to another auto pointer, the ownership gets transferred to the auto pointer instance that has received the assignment. The same happens when an auto pointer smart pointer is copied. It would be interesting to observe the stuff in action with a simple example which you can see here. As you may have understood from the My Class definition, we first defined the default constructor, and then we defined destructor. After that, we defined copy constructor, as well as an assignment operator. And at last, we defined say hello method. The methods of My Class have nothing more than a print statement that indicates the methods got invoked. They were purely meant for demonstration purposes. Let's see the main function. The main function creates two auto pointer smart pointers that point to two different my class objects. As you can understand, auto pointer is a local object that wraps a raw pointer, not a pointer. When the control hits the return statement, the stack unwinding process gets initiated. And as part of this, the stack objects, that is pointer one and pointer two get destroyed. This in turn, invokes the destructor of auto pointer that ends up deleting the my class objects pointed by the stack objects pointer 1 and pointer 2 the main function code we just saw demonstrates many useful techniques and some controversial behaviors of the auto pointer smart pointer this auto pointer lines of code creates two instances of auto pointer namely pointer 1 and pointer 2 that wrap two objects of my class created in a heap next these highlighted lines of code demonstrate how the methods supported by my class can be invoked using auto pointer. Hope you observe the pointer one say hello statement. It will make you believe that the auto pointer that is pointer one object is a pointer, but pointer one and pointer two are just auto pointer objects created in the stack as local variables. As the auto pointer class has overloaded the pointer operator and the dereferencing operator, it appears like a pointer. As a matter of fact, all the methods exposed by my class can only be accessed using the pointer operator, while all the auto pointer methods can be accessed as you would regularly access a stack object. Here, pointer one say hello methods means pointer one is an object of auto pointer which access the my class method that is say hello using the pointer operator. In this line of code, we demonstrate the internal behavior of the auto pointer smart pointer. So pay close attention. This is going to be really interesting. This is a simple assignment statement, but it triggers many activities within Auto Pointer. There are a few lists of activities happen due to the assignment statement. The pointer to Smart Pointer will give up the ownership of My Class Object 2. My Class Object 2 will be destructed as pointer 2 has given up its ownership of Object 2. The ownership of Object 1 will be transferred to pointer 2. At this point, pointer 1 is neither pointing to Object one, nor is it responsible for managing the memory used by object one. As the pointer one smart pointer has released its ownership of object one, it is illegal to attempt accessing the say hello method. This is because pointer one in reality isn't pointing to object one anymore, and object one is owned by pointer two. Finally, this pointer two line of code invoke the say hello method on object one using the pointer two smart pointer. The return statement will initiate the stack unwinding process in the main function. This will end up invoking the destructor of pointer 2, which in turn will deallocate the memory utilized by object 1. The beauty is, all this happens automatically. The auto pointer smart pointer works hard for us behind the scenes while we're focusing on the problem at hand. Let's compile our program. Open the terminal and type g 7 maincpp with standard equals C++17. 
Here, you can see Auto Pointer is deprecated. We obtain the same at our main.cpp, which is highlighted here. As you can see, the C compiler warns us as the use of Auto Pointer is deprecated. Hence, I don't recommend the use of the Auto Pointer Smart Pointer anymore. It is replaced by Unique Pointer. For now, we can ignore the warnings and move on. Clear this screen now by using Reset Command. Again, compile our program. Type G 7 maincpp WNO deprecated. See? It compiles the program without any warnings. Now, let's run our program using dot slash a dot out command. As you can see in this output, both object 1 and object 2 allocated in a heap, then object 2 and an object 1 got deleted automatically, and the credit goes to the auto pointer smart pointer. In this video, we learned about auto pointer.